Hello, everybody. I am I am a nerd gaming, and today I'm reviewing another FNAF game. This one is FNAF 2. Someone made a what looks like a direct copy of the game. Look at this. It doesn't even fit all the screen. It goes so slow. Uh, I can't even see the animatronics. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Uh, I don't, no one sent me these. I, I usually found, find these, uh, randomly and just decide to see how they are and how good they're rated, actually. And right now, I'm getting a pretty weird rating. I don't know what that was, but welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, copy. Whoever copied this probably is has never came out of the basement that they're hiding in currently, uh, locked in by their parents, I don't know, but um, we're going to see how this works, uh, and if it does even at all. Okay, bonus, it has a phone, thank god, uh, spacebar, okay, spacebar, okay, cool, so that does work, and we're almost out of battery, okay, that's, that's, that's cheating. So all you need to worry about is this. I don't need to worry about anything else in the game. Um, it is very laggy. Does this work? Yes. All right. It's so far at a C, like a C minus right now. That's what I'm rating it. What's pissing me off is I'm already, already uh, almost out of battery. That's that's kind of a shame. And the light doesn't really work that well, unless I have my mouse right in front of it. And the mask works. Okay, cool. Does it work when I just go? Okay. Not very well, but it does work. That's a good sign it works after he says it. That's it. And now it just works all of a sudden. Completely. I don't even need to click it. Oh, there we go. What? How are you out already? How the heck? They're all. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They're already gone. What the heck? Okay. So this is definitely better than the first one. I don't get that. Matter sure does take a long time to die, doesn't it? Okay. So I'm I'm writing it right now at a C minus. Uh, a lot of things actually do work in this, which is surprising for <clears throat> it. Oh, someone's in the fence. It is surprising for something to work when it is a direct copy. It really is surprising. I hope not to find any copies of the same character. There's a lot of activity seeming to run through the vents right there. Hmm. 
What's with the vents? Jeez. What are they mating in there? Jeez. I don't know. Does the animation work though for Bonnie? Because when I first played the original game, the animation for Chica worked too, Toy Chica. Oh, I guess it doesn't. That's a shame. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, buddy. Oh my god. Uh, what is that? It was like, it's like working still. What the heck? Okay, grade now is D, like D plus, because, uh, yeah, that's, um, I'm confused. For a direct copy, it does sure work a lot better than the first game I played. But now we're just, oh, I guess we gotta restart it. Huh. And with most of these remakes and copies, there isn't actual second nights or third. It's just one night, but it's completely rigged just so they get attention, support, and money. And all of those things, they get completely none of... They might get attention, like my attention, to see how crap they are, but they don't get general attention for rating, good ratings and anything else. Um, yeah. The game is definitely a bit tampered with, which comes to no big surprise considering it is a, a direct copy. However, the person that did copy this one did did decide, I don't need that, at least was smart enough to um, put some effort into the code and everything while making this. So at least it doesn't screw up. But at its rate currently, it is definitely a D, a D plus. Uh, so it is better right now than the first one that I reviewed on the first game. And it gives some additions, like the honky, the honky guy. And the camera pulls up really nicely, so does the mask too. And it comes off pretty well. Uh, the coding with the characters though, it's a little bit questionable. It, there is no direct copies though, which I am very happy about because I was getting sick of that in the first one. Um, and the second game is obviously the most popular probably in the FNAF franchise as it did have a lot more survival technique um, than any of the others. Um, It didn't tell a big story like the third one did or the ones after it, but it was definitely a lot more in intervening uh, to play in than some of the others, and that's why I like the second game. And it was actually the first I played. I played the second game, and then the first game, and then the third, fourth, and you name it afterwards. Uh, my favorite was Ultimate Custom, my second favorite, actually, because the second one will always be beloved in my heart as it was the most popular um, not including the, like, Ultimate Custom Night and, um, the first game. So, sequels do seem to make a lot. And I mean, not just money, but a lot of popularity, a lot of love, more than sometimes the first games. Now, that's not with all games, but in the FNAF franchise, that does seem to be the case. I've actually tried making my own FNAF games a long time ago, um... I never released them because I thought they were not good enough. I didn't think they were going to, like, Steam wasn't going to support it. I didn't think it would get a good review. I think the coding was also really crappy and wouldn't work properly. So I, I never really posted them. But they were just FNAF remakes that I would take pictures of my house um, <clears throat> and then make somewhat of a code out of it and, like, you know, play it as if it were happening in my own house. Uh, the FNAF story itself kind of with my own characters that I drew out and then eventually would make. Um, but I never posted them, and they never really worked well. They were kind of like this, where they somewhat worked, but the coding would never correlate right with other codes and would break down. But otherwise, um, they were pretty good in my mind. I, uh, I don't know if I should make games like anymore, because like... Thing I have with like things, I'll get really interested into it. I'll make I'll make a YouTube channel even about it, and then 
I'll just kind of forget about it because it comes to my noticing that what I think of is actually a lot harder to do. Uh, and like this, I don't think you can even beat the first night because it is somewhat rigged uh, for the advantage to get attention. But it's definitely not getting a bad rating. Uh, it's definitely not getting a good passing rating, but it isn't horrible for a copy. And whoever copied this did a somewhat of a better job than the first guy. And if it is the first guy that actually copied both of these, it means that he was willing to put more effort into it. Because there is definitely a better upgrade. Now, the thing I do have a problem with is when you move across, some things on the art and the graphics seem to twitch. And the venting noise, it goes on forever. It never ends. And you don't even need to wind the music box that often anyways. Because it's it's almost as if it does it itself. We can charge it, yeah, sure. Wind it up, whatever. Um, yeah, the vending noise does get a little bit repetitive, though. It sucks. I'm guessing... <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> I'm guessing they're trying to make it as realistic as possible, and they're not doing such a good job at that. But yeah, I mean, it works. Nope, put that on. Put that back on. Thank you. Oh, the animation does work. That is awesome. However, it doesn't work very well. His body is like detaching from itself when it does that. Oh, it works though. That's awesome. All right. It's a C minus. No, C minus. C minus. I'll give it a C minus. Because it, there are some things that work. Which I really like about that. Uh, the light doesn't really die yet, though. Like, the flashlight ability, it takes a long time to die. Which, in the first... Uh, in the actual game itself, it took a lot shorter for the light to die out. But it gives us a somewhat advantage. So, in the first game, we were only able to make it to 4 a.m. And then, eventually, we just died because the code, I guess, failed. So, I guess... I don't know how long this will make us last. And I think this is a thing where it doesn't have a second night. If it did, it would definitely get a higher grade for a tier list. Um, but right now, I, I don't see it. I'm going to make a song out of that. It's called Honk, guys. Check it out on my music channel. It's called Honk. It's called Fazbear Honk. Uh, now, do the characters actually roam the hallways? That would... That would be something I want to see. They do. That is cool. That is definitely a big upgrade from the actual game. It's still at a C- because I think the first game did do it, but it didn't do it correctly. Uh, but it's definitely a big notice that we want to see in these copies, that they're at least trying to make something good out of it, um, rather than just throwing a whole bunch of whatever they think is good and then just saying, yeah, it works. Because that's what happened in the first game that we played. The venting noise is a little bit annoying though, because it just it, it just just seems very repetitive and frequent. Otherwise, um, it's um it's not bad. All right, we're at 4 a.m. now. Okay, it is a little bit laggy when you put things on, like the mask or the camera, and you can't put the camera on you, but uh, you know what I mean. Now we just gotta wait for the animation. I don't think I think Bonnie's the only one that actually shows up in this night. Really, I mean Chica should too, but I guess she doesn't. So look, by the here the head would have decapitated from the body unless it's just Stretch Armstrong. But um, I mean it's cool. It's cool. So we're almost at six a.m. Um. Which does tell me that this game does work. It doesn't work correctly that good, but it does work. Don't get, don't get me wrong. 
It's not a great copy, but it has worked better than the other copies of many games, not including the FNAF franchise itself. Uh, so, that is good. Bonnie is at it again with events. Unless that's Chica. And Chica, I believe in this version, doesn't even have an animation. Which sucks, because when I actually played the game a long time ago, about 8 years ago, she did have an animation, and then it got taken off because it just got too repetitive, and it, it would be, it'd be, ma it would be basically like, okay, they all have to have animations. We won at 5 a.m., guys. What the heck? Uh, I can still play. That's that's weird. Press the green flag to play the next night. Also, don't worry. It's just new game. Just click. oh, uh, click it. It's not spelled that way. Um. Okay, that's um. Are we gonna see anything better, or is it gonna be all this crap again? Looks like this part is normal, working. If the next night is just the same night, um, I might add in the video because I don't. It might not be worth it. So you win at 5 a.m., which is odd, because that's not how that works. Um, I think this guy is lying to me. So, oh, says so second night. Ooh, that's nice. There is a... Okay, we get a C+. C+, plus, C plus. we're moving up slowly. So it's definitely passing. Let's listen to this. Oh, they were really laggy in the first game, so I doubt they'll work. And BB's already out. That's no big surprise. Foxy, I didn't know you came up this fast. Oh my god, Foxy came out quick. Foxy was out, bro. Well, this is the end of the game. I'm not gonna really continue it because it doesn't seem to work that proper. Um, for the grade, I'll give it. I'll give it a C plus. Um, or actually, yeah, just a C plus. It is definitely passing. It does have a lot more better features, and it does have a lot more better of a code than the last game did. So if you did enjoy, please like the video. I'm probably not gonna link these in the description as the ratings on these are actually really bad for some reason. And that is understandable considering it is a direct copy. But if you do want to check it out, I'll probably actually just leave it in the description anyways for both games. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you have not. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for 50 subscribers. Uh, I still don't have a clue what I'm doing for it. But if you do want to check it out, uh, do want to check out more videos like this, please do subscribe and like the video, hit notifications, whatever you can do. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. One, two.